Because again, so many people read the four hour work week, might have bought another course, have an idea for a business, and just jump straight in and start outsourcing straight away without working out a framework. And again, I'm going to come back to processes, flowcharts, frameworks throughout the whole session today so you guys actually walk away with a framework of where you can start. So the first things you want to uh, start with when you're looking at outsourcing is two things. Things you can't do and things you don't want to do. So many people start outsourcing the stuff they don't want to do. It's not the smart thing to do. You want to outsource stuff you can't do first because that's going to grow your business quicker. And it's not necessarily about giving you the four hour work week straight away. You've got to grow a business first. And that's something I think that Tim Ferriss in the four hour work week who sort of, I guess, was the underlying um, point that where outsourcing really took off. And I think something he didn't talk about enough in the book was to actually grow a business first. He talked about, yeah, start, get, get a four hour work week and go straight to working for four hours a week. Well, realistically, he didn't get there by working four hours a week. That book, his businesses, were there first. He worked his ass off to actually put a business and a system in place to give him that four hour work week. So you want to actually focus on getting a business first. And I just wanted to add something else as well. People who've read the four hour work week get this idea that, hey, I only have to work four hours a week. But he actually works, Tim Ferriss, incredibly hard. A lot of really successful people work incredibly hard. Really, I think the fundamental or the underlying principle that you need to get out of that book is to work more effectively and make sure that you're, you're working on the right things, not necessarily to get to a four hour work week because a lot of really successful people still work very, very hard. So the first thing you want to work out in your business is things you can't do. So you need to actually work out where your business is going, where it's at, where you want it to be, and work out the things that you physically can't do and outsource that first. Still grind through the stuff you don't want to do. You know, Tim Ferriss just um, recently posted on his blog about his new book that's coming out. He grind, ground, or is that the word? What's the word for grind? Is it ground? Grinded? He grinded through writing his new book. And he hates writing. He could have used a ghostwriter, but that's the main thing he had to do. So he, you know, grinded through that and outsourced everything else. So sometimes you just have to do the stuff you don't want to do to start with. So just be aware of that. So work out what you can't do, outsource that, and then work on actually outsourcing the stuff you don't want to do to get you to that four hour work week. A big thing uh, that again, a lot of people don't really get is the in task versus on task. And this is something that I talk, talk a lot about with my clients, um, is that you need to start working in your business. And it's a, a book that's coming out in 2011 called It's Not About the Product, is a new book that I'm working on. And it's talk, talking about this in a general sense as well, that it's not about the product. So many people in their business think it is their product. And the way that they actually can grow their business is by doing the product better. They uh, do a trade, they become a plumber, and they uh, do a, um, an apprenticeship, come out with it, and want to be a plumber. But to grow your business, being on the tools is not going to grow your business. You have to work on your business, not in it, not doing the actual thing that the business is all about. So what you want to do is actually outsource the in tasks as soon as possible. So you want to hire an apprentice underneath you to actually do the plumbing. You want to actually hire the customer service team. You want to hire the people who actually deliver what you do. If you're in information marketing, that's obviously impossible because you are what you deliver. But in everything else, you want to actually outsource that. Um, in my telecommunications company, my real world business, I don't install phone systems, never have, have no idea how to. I have a team who do that. I have a team of salespeople. I work on the business rather than in it. And again, even if you're running an ebook selling website, it's still a business and treat it like a business. So you want to really think about what in tasks there are and what on tasks. The marketing of your business is the on tasks. That's the stuff you really want to focus on, not in your business. You know, if you're running, if you're doing AdWords management for clients, you don't want to be doing the AdWords management yourself. You will hopefully want to train someone who can do that and you can grow the business, you can get the clients, you can do the sales, you can get more people in the door.